When the um, invitation went out earlier this year for invitations for applicants, it was under the umbrella of a rural um, cluster collaborative approach. And it gives me uh, great pleasure this year to announce that we had a number of quality nominations. But in looking at the worthy recipient, we have given it to the Nagambi Community Literacy Program, which brings a lot of schools, preschools, children's services, local government, library, local businesses and families to support, support the development of literary skills among children in their early years. There's a, a, an overview of the outline of that being given in your uh, documents. But the Nagambi community is very keen to explore how they can further support children within the community across the early years through a whole of community approach. And they're going to visit a number of communities that are exploring this issue and be involved with them in discussions with people with expertise in this area. So I would like to invite the winners to come forward, Rob French and Vivian Moore, to receive this award from Bales. Well done. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to give it to Now, one question. What does the word anagambi mean? Place of many possums. <laughs> well, I have two of them here. <laughs> well done. Thank you. I'm Rob, my, my, I only get called Robert by my mum when I'm in trouble, so I'm glad I'm Rob today. <laughs> and uh, I'm principal at Nagambi Primary. Viv's our project uh, coordinator. But our, the key word in our, in our work is community. Our, our group is ourselves, St Joseph's Primary, the Nagambi Kinder and Preschool, which is the kinder, the three-year-old kinder, the childcare, uh, the town playgroup and uh, the town library. And uh, this year we've some, um, we're also uh, engaging with Yeroa Secondary College, which is our main secondary feeder school. We started off as early years literacy, and that was our focus. We soon decided it wasn't fair that the uh, grade three to sixes missed out, so we sort of extended there. And, and this year we're, we're really looking at, at, uh, at uh, all of the children and young people in our community and working with them. But it is about bringing our community to, together. It doesn't matter where you go to school. It doesn't matter how old you are. That uh, as a rural community, we're there to support everybody and to develop their uh, education skills. But uh, as somebody previously said, our school's been a part of the community for 140 years. And we see that it's our role to give as a school to the community. But we receive it back in bucket loads from our community and um, the key to our success was that we got enough funding through the department through a through a grant through Hume region to employ Viv and Viv was just a, the most fantastic choice. Viv's been a teacher all her life, passionate about the early years. She was a small school principal, reading recovery tutor and she had retired and uh, she lives in our community and so it's because of Viv that we've been able to do the work. As Leo, the principal at St Joe's, myself, we get caught up in the busyness. But to have somebody who we can trust, who just does the work and brings it all together, that's why our project's been a success. And uh, uh, I'd just like to thank Viv for what she's done.